On October 23, 1956, Hungarians revolted against communist rule. It was the first armed uprising against the USSR's control over the Eastern Bloc. Angered by the replacement of reformist Prime Minister Imre Nagy and inspired by Soviet concessions in Poland, Hungarian students compiled a list of 16 demands on October 22nd. These included the withdrawal of Soviet troops, a new government under Nagy, and a return to multi-party democracy. The next day, a group of protesters went to state radio headquarters to broadcast their demands, while a crowd of 200,000 gathered outside parliament. State security forces in the radio station opened fire on unarmed demonstrators. What began as a mass protest now turned into a revolution as protesters took up arms around the country. Attempting to appease the rebels, the government renamed Nagy Prime Minister while calling in Soviet troops. More than 30,000 Red Army soldiers took up positions in the capital and around the country. Their presence did little more than anger the civilian population. Hungary's own army mostly stayed out of the fight. Broadcasts by Radio Free Europe appealed to the army and police not to open fire. The broadcast convinced many Hungarians that Western powers would intervene. By the afternoon of October 24th, at least 25 protesters were dead and more than 200 were injured. After five days of fighting, the Soviets and secret police had failed to dislodge the rebels from their strongholds. Nagy called a ceasefire, and Soviet troops returned to their barracks. On October 30th, Nagy announced the end of single-party rule and invited representatives of banned parties to form a new cabinet. For a brief moment, the Soviets seemed defeated. Withdrawing troops from Budapest, Moscow issued a statement admitting to mistakes in policy toward Warsaw Pact countries. A mob attacked the Communist Party's headquarters in Budapest and killed unarmed secret police troops. Reports from the Soviet embassy became panicked. Nagy then declared that Hungary was withdrawing from the Warsaw Pact. The Kremlin quickly reversed course. Meeting the next day, the Central Committee voted to end the rebellion by force. 16 Soviet divisions attacked Budapest on November 1st. Resistance was crushed within a week. Thousands were arrested and hundreds put to death, including Nagy. By the end of the rebellion, some 2,500 Hungarians were dead. 200,000 fled the country. Janos Kadar, flown in from Moscow on the heels of the Red Army, would rule Hungary for the next three decades. The return to democracy that the rebels had fought for wouldn't happen until the revolution's anniversary 30 years ago, on October 23, 1989.